I had a chance to see the Wings concert, as I said, it's a superb concert, one of the best I've ever seen. And while I was there, we had a chance to talk to Paul McCartney and Wings. In fact, let's, let's go over to Paul, he'll tell you all about it, all right? Hello, this is Paul McCartney and uh, a various press conference here with lots of Aussies and all sorts of people around us. I'd like you to just sit back and relax and uh, let go. Over to you. Paul, you've been accused of being the heavy in the Beatles breakup. Do you think you deserve that title? No, uh, I think really what happened was when the group broke up, you know, I kind of was trying to uh, keep hold of uh, the money that the group had earned, you know, and there was a manager in there at the time who was trying to take it off us. And uh, so in trying to, uh, you know, keep hold of the money, I had to sue the other chaps, and I couldn't sue the manager. So that's where I got the reputation of being heavy. But uh, the others now thank me because uh, we managed to save a bit of the money, you know. So you are friendly with the other chaps, yeah. though? Kissing cousins. I see. Well, there's been a lot of talk and rumours of the Beatles getting back together again for one last concert. What are the chances? No chance. No. You can't Linda, during that initial time of the Beatles breaking up, there was a lot of criticism thrown at Paul, but there was also a lot of criticism thrown at you by John and Yoko about you being involved in recording sessions. Do you think in turn that Yoko should have been involved in the recordings with John? Well, I think anybody can record if they want. There's, there's yeah, a lot yeah. of friction, a lot of playing people yeah. against each other. I mean, in truth, we're quite good friends. Right. I think it was like, you know, the Beatles had broken up, and I think they probably would have broken up anyway. Yeah. And it was like, it, you know, looking for something to blame, really, you know. I see. Well, Linda, who asked who uh, to join the band? Did Paul ask you to join, or did you ask Paul? <laughs> I don't know, you know, I just asked her one day, I said, do you, yeah. would you fancy being in a group and stuff, you know, when the curtain comes up and there's all people there, would you think you'd like that? Yes, I asked. Was it hard yeah. at the start? Yes, yeah. very hard at the start. But now it's a finish. Why do you continue the grind of touring? Why don't you take a more passive role? I don't know, really. Give us, it. give us a chance, you know, a couple of years. I might be well passive. I might pass out even. But <laughs> I hope not. I like, uh, I like singing, you know. I like playing with the group and stuff, and uh, playing with people like Jimmy and stuff. And, uh, well, I like playing with you, and man. Joe and Kenny and Charlie and Norm. Do you make much money out of a tour like this? It's not easy to make money on a tour like this because we take a big show around, you know, and uh, with people like Norm around, it's pretty difficult, you know, but, uh... You're pretty much... <laughs> Yes, but uh, Didn't you hear your I think I think probably the tour has worked out to maybe make some money in America. I see, and on a thing like that, is there a chance perhaps you may do a live album on, on this tour and release it? We might do, you know, we record a lot of the concerts and uh, we haven't really thought of putting out a live album. We might do, yeah. And Paul, what is your favourite album as far as Wings is concerned? Wings? Uh, I don't know really, Venus and Mars. <laughs> And finally, Paul, how would you like the world to remember you? Oh, with a grin. 